Okay, this lecture uh, that we're looking at here uh, from Servants to Slaves, this is a this is a hard lecture. Uh, it's not it's not hard in terms of like length. It's just it's the subject matters heavy because this is that shift from servitude to slavery. In in the last lecture, we saw that the system of labor that's created is one of indentured servitude. And that really persists for most of the 1600s. Beginning in about the mid 1600s, uh, we are gonna see some legal cases, um, like some legislation and some court cases that are gonna like start to suggest that we're headed down a different path. Uh, but again, it's not happening all at once and it's not happening simultaneously. Uh, you're gonna see uh, two examples of this uh, with uh, the court case of John Punch that happens in 1640 and in the same year, Anthony Johnson in 1640, um, who we're going to look at as the husband of Mary Johnson, uh, he is a person of color and he becomes a landowner. So it, it's not this, this shift isn't happening like it's like like not one big thing. It doesn't happen overnight. It, it's 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 a lifetime. It's a generation, and that's uh, that's where Mary Johnson is important. So um, I've got a handful of women here to kind of humanize this for us. Mary Johnson shows us that this shift happens over a lifetime. Elizabeth Key, she's going to be key to us to help us to understand some of the laws that are going to be significant connected to this change. So you're going to look at tithable laws. Those are laws that tax, but then the real uh, big laws in 1662. And Elizabeth Key's case happens in 1656, and it's going to kind of set the stage for that 1662 law that's so critical. And then the third person you have there is Frances Durgis. And uh, again, we'll see her story, and you've got a film clip uh, that looks at her story, and, and her story really highlights um, just how difficult this, this period is. And, and how heavy the subject is. Um, Elizabeth, Eliza um, Lucas Pickney, she's there. She is a white woman and she's there. She's, she's the last woman that you have there. And she reflects the ways in which this um, legislation and these court cases ultimately not only establish racial slavery, but create white privilege. And we'll see that with Eliza Pickney. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the discussion board or send me an email. Take care.